Welcome to Bharat TV News, your trusted source for stories that matter to the Indian diaspora. I am Shijiv Jagannathan, and in today's top headlines, Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar has been killed in an Israeli airstrike, with Hezbollah threatening escalation. In India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is pushing for ethical AI guidelines, and Maharashtra's opposition finalizes most seats for the upcoming elections. In Canada, Prime Minister Trudeau calls India's alleged involvement in a Sikh leader's death a horrific mistake, deepening tensions between the two nations, and in the US, the presidential election is heating up. So let's get started. Breaking news from the Middle East as Yahya Sinwar, the Hamas leader in Gaza, has been killed in an Israeli airstrike. Sinwar was one of the top leaders of Hamas and was a central figure in coordinating attacks on Israel. Following his death, Hezbollah announced that it would escalate its involvement in the conflict, warning of a decisive response against Israel. Hezbollah's increased involvement could lead to a broader regional instability with fears of a full-scale war between Israel and armed groups across the region. International readers are continuing to call for de-escalation, but tensions remain high. Prime Minister Modi has called for establishing guidelines to ensure the ethical use of digital technologies and artificial intelligence. Speaking at a global tech forum, Modi highlighted the need for a robust framework that balances innovation with ethical concerns, ensuring that advancements in AI are used responsibly. The Prime Minister emphasized the importance of ensuring that digital technologies contribute to societal progress without infringing on privacy or human rights. Indian-American candidates are gaining momentum as the 2024 elections are approaching. Figures like New York State Assemblywoman Jennifer Rajkumar and U.S. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy continue to make significant strides with growing number of Indian Americans now running for public office. Their campaigns emphasize issues that resonate with the Indian diaspora, including immigration reform and healthcare access. This increased representation reflects the rising political influence of the Indian American community. In U.S. fashion news, luxury retailer Socks Fifth Avenue has announced its exclusive partnership with renowned Indian designers Rahul Mishra and Anamika Khanna as the U.S.'s sole U.S. retailer to carry their collections. Socks is bringing Indian couture to a wider American audience. Both designers are celebrated for their intricate craftsmanship and fusion of traditional Indian textiles with modern silhouettes. These partnerships mark a significant step in showcasing Indian fashion on the global stage, giving U.S. customers access to some of the finest Indian luxury designs. In a statement that has further strained India-Canada relations, Canada Prime Minister Justin Trudeau described India's alleged involvement in the killing of Hardeep Singh Najjar as a horrific mistake. Trudeau called for India to cooperate fully in the ongoing investigation, accusing Indian agents of being involved in the fatal shooting in British Columbia earlier this year. India's government has vehemently denied these allegations, leading to diplomatic tensions between the two nations. Both countries have now expelled senior diplomats in a tit-for-tat response, and the international community is closely watching these developments. In breaking news from India, the Mahavikas Agadi Opposition Alliance in Maharashtra has reached a consensus on 263 assembly seats ahead of the state elections. However, 25 seats still remain disputed among the coalition members. The alliance, which includes the Congress, the Shiv Sena, and the Nationalist Congress Party, is strategizing to challenge the ruling BJP in the upcoming elections. Party leaders are hopeful that a resolution on the remaining seats can be achieved soon. Indian American shops across the U.S. are reeling from a recent wave of armed robberies, leaving business owners shaken. Over the past few weeks, multiple Indian American businesses, particularly in New Jersey and Texas, have reported incidents of violence, theft, and intimidation. Community leaders are calling for enhanced police protection 
and better security measures as many shop owners fear for their safety. These robberies have raised concerns about the vulnerability of migrant-owned businesses across the country. In the U.S. presidential race, Vice President Kamala Harris is intensifying her campaign efforts as she stumps for votes across the country. At the same time, billionaire Mark Cuban has thrown his full weight behind Harris, offering public endorsements and appearing at campaign rallies. Meanwhile, tech mogul Elon Musk has been hitting the trail with former President Donald Trump, attending high-profile fundraising events. Both candidates are focusing heavily on economic issues, healthcare, and immigration, with less than a month to go before the 2024 election. And that concludes today's news on Bharat TV. For more updates on these stories and others, visit our website and follow us on social media. I'm Shajeev Jagannathan, wishing you a wonderful rest of the night. We'll see you next time.